riding buddies. This week I've uh, stepped out a little bit here and I bought a helmet on eBay. It's a very cheap helmet. I just want to have a look and see how good these helmets actually are. It is an Australian standards helmet on it. Well, it's got an Australian standard sticker on it. But we'll have a look and see what sort of quality we get for $69.95. I will, I will admit at this point, the uh, company we bought it from actually uh, were very good. They shipped it to us on regular post with only a couple of days. So, at least it comes with a bag. That's a start. So, well, it hasn't got any damage on it yet. That's a start. But we're going to get Ding to um, wear it and tell us what he thinks about it. But looking at the helmet so far, we do have the Australian standard sticker on it, so that's a good thing. Maybe, we'll see how we go. For $69.95, it's actually, it's not that heavy. I was expecting it to weigh about as much as Ding's A100, but it's actually not too bad. Um, usually when I see cheap helmets, all these little rubber strips, as soon as you touch them, they just pop off but this is actually not not too bad in the way it's constructed obviously the liner doesn't come out of it the liner is a fixed part of it but um, oh here's one little thing I've just noticed manufactured September 2018 so it's already two years old but that's not a great issue yeah, things do feel quite flimsy Ooh. Yeah, things are quite flimsy on it, but for $69.95, so far, I will have to admit, I'm quite impressed, not over the moon with it, but for $69.95, it's, uh, it's not that bad. But, um, Feel too bad. Goes on quite okay. Sits all right. Um, but what we'll do, we're going to take this out to the track. Ding's going to meet us out there. He's um, he's talking to me once again, and we're going to get Ding to wear it around the track and tell us what he actually thinks of it. Ding has got no concept of money whatsoever. Um, he thinks that um, the dollar note, or dollar coin as we have in Australia these days, is um, completely irrelevant to anything. He's got no idea whatsoever. So to him, he will look at this helmet and just evaluate it as a helmet. He's got no idea about $69.95 for a helmet. So we'll give this to Ding and see what he thinks about it. Uh, yeah, so Ding had a little bit of an incident on his little A100 in the first session, so he's, uh, he's hit the big step up, which um, we'll show you later on, but he's hit the big step up and over jumped it and blew the rear shock, so he's had to borrow a bike so, um, so he can get this test underway and stuff, but he's just got to give it a quick once over to make sure it's up to his standard, considering it's a full factory uh, prepped A100 that he normally rides. So, as soon as he's already here, we'll get up and roll and we'll have a look and uh, see what he thinks about this helmet.
Well, to say Ding was a bit disappointed it, disappointed with it, is a bit of an understatement, really. Um, yeah, he's given it a fairly hard time. I don't think he likes it, but we'll go home and we'll do a bit of a diagnosis of the helmet and um, see how it came out after Ding had this little bit of a little bit of a hissy fit, shall we say? No doubt about it. He's got a temper and a half on him. This is the second time we've seen it on video, so and trust me, I've seen it a lot more than that. But um, yeah, we'll go home. We'll have a look at the helmet, dissect it basically, and check it out and go from there. Okay, we're back in my shed now. I have done a bit of a diagnosis of this helmet. I've been checking out a few things as well. Um, since we did the test, it has been a few days because I just wanted to check out a few things with this helmet. One thing I did learn while I was checking it all out, the liner is actually removable. So a $69.95 helmet and the liner is removable. I haven't tried to put it back in. I don't know how hard it is to put back in. I'm not going to bother trying because the helmet is no longer a helmet shape pretty much after Ding had his little tantrum with it. The Australian Standard Sticker. We, we peel that off. You can actually see across it. It does come up with void across the Standard Sticker. Um, which makes me think that the Australian standard sticker must be okay because it does come up with void. It's really hard to read um, to see it on there, but it does come up with it. But there is nothing else on the hand on the helmet at all. If you have a look at the straps, there's no Euro standard, nothing like that on it. There's nothing inside the helmet with any other standard. The only thing that is on this helmet is the manu manufacture thing, okay? So, to be an Australian standards helmet at $69.95, that's pretty good. I am a little bit concerned that there is no other standard on this helmet whatsoever. Another thing with the helmet, uh, Ding was saying that inside it, it's not that it, it feels horrible on your head, but there's a lot of gaps inside the helmet when you've got it on your head, which doesn't inspire confidence. Ding is usually used to wearing much more expensive helmets, uh, which inspire confidence in riding. With this on his head, despite the, the fact that he was doing a few whips and stuff over the big triple, um, he didn't feel comfortable and confident in the helmet on his head. So that's a big thing, especially if you do compete. Um, after Ding's little tantrum, I'm actually pretty impressed how it did stand up. I didn't expect it to hold together even this well, to be honest. Um, but it has held well together. It's a very cheap helmet, $69.95. I've been trying to find out who the actual importer of the helmet is. I can't find who actually imports it to Australia. It, I think they might only be an eBay store. Um, one thing on that eBay store, they were really good. I will admit, they got the helmet to us really, really quick. As far as a rider is concerned, I wouldn't wear it. Um, a helmet that just doesn't sit on your head really good. It doesn't have stupid little spiky bits that push into your head or anything stupid like that. It just doesn't feel all that good on your head. Um, yes, it does have Australian standards sticker as far as I can tell. Okay, I can't find out any information about that Australian standard sticker. $69.95, it handled Ding's abuse a lot better than I thought it would. It didn't feel like an absolute ice cream container on your head. It was a little bit better than that. It's got a removable liner. As far as, yeah, learning how to use a clutch and a throttle, it's probably 
a good helmet for doing that sort of thing. I would definitely would not compete with one. I wouldn't even wear one as a trail rider. But that's for you to decide on what you do. Um, this is just being, I wanted to have a look at a cheap helmet and see how, how they actually fared up. And for the money that this helmet is, I am actually a little bit impressed with it. I didn't think it would um, be as good as what it is. But as far as a helmet for myself, I always go $250, $300 minimum. Go up from there. Um, so I just don't feel comfortable with that helmet. And Ding was definitely not comfortable with it, that's for sure. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have actually got something out of this. I've actually learned quite a lot about these helmets. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will catch you next time.